Welcome to the SPB Podcast. This is podcast number eight. And on this episode, like we've done in previous episodes, we're going to highlight one of the bands on SPB or Inside Out. In this case, it is SPB, and this band just put out a new album on June 10th of this year talking about Moonspell, and the record is called Night Eternal. It's a great record. If you haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, we will feature some of the music here on this podcast. Then you're going to want to go pick this up in stores everywhere. You can go to Moonspell.com. You can check out MySpace.com slash Moonspell. First single that they have was called Scorpion Flower. They did that track with Annika von Giersbergen, formerly of The Gathering, and there's a video for that, which is on their MySpace. One more time, it's MySpace. Space.com slash Moonspell. And I got to talk to Fernando Ribeiro. He is the lead singer of Moonspell. And I will play that interview for you. And we'll also play a couple songs off of the Moonspell record. We'll hear that song I was just talking about, Scorpion Flower. Then we have another one. We'll do the title track, which is called Night Eternal. Some Moonspell news for you. They are going on the road. They've been playing the European festivals. They'll be coming over here to the U.S. for the Blackest of the Black Tour. And that is starting on October 9th in Miami Beach, Florida. And on the Blackest of the Black Tour, it's going to be headlined by Danzig. Then you'll have Dimu Borgir, Moonspell, of course, Skeleton Witch, and Winds of Plague. It's going to be a really good lineup, and that'll run through November 10th in San Francisco. From what Fernando told me, what you will hear in the interview, they'll have some off dates scheduled as well with you know some Moonspell headlining dates. So if you're a big Moonspell fan, you can check out the Black the Black Tour, and you can check out. Moonspell headlining date. If you're not familiar with Moonspell, let's go back and tell you a little bit about them. They're a Portuguese gothic metal band. They were formed in 1989. They were first known as Morbid God. They renamed themselves Moonspell in 1992. They released their first EP called Under the Moonspell in 94. First release you may know from them was their debut album called Wolfheart. The band quickly gained status and became one of the most recognizable metal bands from Portugal. In fact, when their 2006 album Memorial came out, they were the only metal band to reach the first place position on the Portuguese charts aside from Metallica and Iron Maiden. So as you're probably well aware, Moonspell does have a huge following in Portugal and all over the world, and they're really starting to break in on the U.S. scene as well. And if you haven't seen them yet, your first chance is coming up this fall. As I've said, they're here for the Blackest of the Black Tour. Well, enough talking right now. We do have that interview coming up with Fernando Ribeiro, singer of Moonspell. Let's go ahead and do one of the songs off the album. We'll start off with the title track. It's called Night Eternal. It's new stuff for Moonspell right here on the SPV Podcast.
tell you. And that right there was Night Eternal, the title track off the brand new Moonspell album, which is in stores now. It came out on June 10th. You're listening to the SPV Podcast. This is podcast number eight. And right now I'm going to give you your chance to win a copy of Moonspell's Night Eternal. Just send an email to me, podcast at spvmarketing.com. That's podcast at spvmarketing.com. I'll choose a couple names at random. Make sure you include all your contact info, including your mailing address. If I choose your name, send you a copy of the new Moonspell CD called Night Eternal. Right now, I want to get into the interview with Fernando from Moonspell. We talked about the beginnings of Moonspell. We talked about the new album. We talked about the upcoming tour. It's a pretty lengthy interview, so we're going to present it to you in two segments. After the first segment, I'll come back on, and then we'll hear that song Scorpion Flower, which has Annika von Giersbergen, formerly of The Gathering, on it. But right now, here is part one of my interview with Fernando from Moonspell. It's on the SPV Podcast. And now it's time for the interview portion of the podcast. Right now with us, we have Fernando, the lead singer from Moonspell. Thanks for taking the time to do the interview with us. And right now, let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about the album Night Eternal. Can you tell us the concept behind it? Actually, there was, you know, two main concepts. One of them was um, mu- musical concepts. We wanted to um, make an album that, without losing the enthusiasm of the last album, Memorial, uh, could have um, a more involved and emotional songwriting, because... We always thought that Moonspell, it's really about the songs, you know, our past is full of songs that have touched people like Alma Mater or Mephisto or Blood Tales from Memorial. So um, this time around, uh, all the, the time and, and the spirit was invested in to make very distinctive songs, songs that had by one side lots of fury, you know, lots of enthusiasm, lots of headbanging moments even, but that could have contained a certain kind of beauty um, about them as well. That's why um, we have songs such as Carp and Flower or Dreamless, but also songs like the title track, Night Eternal, or a Spring of Rage, you know, because uh, we, 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 we thought that there is a good balance um, in between the both natures of, um, of Moonspell, you know, the atmosphere, the darkness, but also the, the metal feeling. Uh, when it comes to the to the lyrical concept, um, it all started in, in my mind like a couple of years ago. It was something that I was working already with Memorial, which was the end of the earth, um, in a way. But this time I wanted to make uh, to make something more um, towards pagan poetry, you know, to assume more our connection with with Mother Earth, with with the danger, with the suffering, and all of this. And each time more I thought about it, um, I found in women. Um, a very good uh, example of what we do to Earth as well. I mean, you think about you know the Orthodox uh, Jew, 